And welcome everyone to a Pac-12 chat. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by Cal head coach Mark Fox. And the Bears are off to a great start, taking off and beating Pepperdine and then UNLV, two teams that arguably think that they've got a chance to be in the postseason in some form at the end of the season. Uh, Mark, what do you attribute to such a good start so far? Well, I have to give the credit to, to our players. They, they've really bought into what we're trying to do. And, and we did beat two, two really, I think, uh, quality teams. And, and uh, we were fortunate to be at home. Uh, obviously, it helps to be at home. But, but uh, I haven't had to fight these kids really on anything. They've, they've really bought into to how we're trying to play and how hard we're trying to work. And so I think the credit should go to our kids. So, look, you, you've taken over programs before in Nevada, Georgia. You know the building process. This is a Cal program that has had plenty of highs, but certainly some lows. When you took this over, where did you see the building blocks in terms of, you know, how fast you could actually put this thing together? Well, obviously, we've had some struggles, and so I knew that it was going to be a process. And, uh, but I think what, what uh, I think gave me great belief is that Cal's won before. And, uh, and so because it's happened before on a couple different occasions, we... We just needed to get things, I think, organized and, and start the process forward. But it's a great area to live. It's a great school, and, and we have tradition. And so uh, certainly um, great leadership uh, from our athletic director has helped. Um, but I think what I saw was just a uh, tremendous opportunity. And, uh, and, and so far, uh, you know, uh, every, everything has kind of fallen in place. But we got a long way to go. Look, I don't want to say you were fish out of water at Georgia because I, I'm a believer that, you know, the hoop is the same height. The basketball is the same. I don't care where you are, but you know, why do you think you've had good success out west and that you are a good fit in Berkeley? Well, um, I feel like that that at Cal we have a commitment to to, uh, to win uh, and to educate young people at the same time. Uh, basketball is important to this school, and and um and so you know it's obviously uh, an area of the country where i had some success before so you know I, I just feel comfortable here i felt comfortable from day one uh and the people have been very welcoming so uh, I'm, I'm extremely excited all right so on the court uh this was a team last season uh obviously had more lows than highs but they had that win late in the season over washington at home uh talk to me about the players here in terms of you know, who has already elevated themselves to where you feel, you know what, we can rely on this player, that player, where to, to, to take us to being a very competitive team in the non-conference and in the Pac-12 when we get there? Well, I think I've tried to treat it this way. We have 17 new players, and I, and I think that, that, that every kid's trying to learn everything that we do, our terminology, our schemes for the first time. So we've really treated everybody like a freshman or nobody like a freshman. I'm not sure, uh, you know, if there's a better way to phrase it. But and, uh, Matt Bradley has been off to a good start for us uh, because I think he's obviously scored the ball well. Uh, but, but you know, we have a lot of kids who I think uh, are kind of on the same track. And if we can if we can make sure that we stay consistent in our approach every day, then hopefully we'll give ourselves a chance for – for everybody to be as successful as Matt's been out of the gate. How do you, uh, you know, when we get to February, what, what do you want this team's identity to be? Well, we want to be complete. You know, we, we, we want to be complete. We want to be able to, to say at the end of the night that we can win a game with our defense or that we can win a game with our offense. And and right now, I think we're a long way from, from being that. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, to beat the best teams, uh, as you know, you have to be able to play both ends and, and uh, so hopefully in February, we're a team that can do that. But there's a lot of work in front of us and a lot of growth that will have to happen first. Look, you know this, Mark, that to be successful, you can preach all you want, but you need to obviously have results to say, look, it, it, it works. What did these couple of opening wins do for you to, to convince these guys? Like what we're saying actually can work if you listen, if you play the way we want you to play. Well, you're right. You, you have to have some results uh, within your team. When you, when you demand that the kids work as hard as we demanded that these kids work and, and, and force them to invest as much as they've had to invest, then you can see some rewards and some payback from those efforts. And obviously to have you know two wins versus two quality teams to start with uh, helps us along in, in that way. And, and um, you know, it's a, it's a process, as we know. There's more challenges ahead. 
Uh, and so hopefully we can continue to have some, some rewards for our efforts, but we're also going to have to uh, learn how to respond to adversity when we do uh, ultimately you know, drop a game. And, and uh, but for us, it's about just working, you know, every day as hard as we can to make ourselves better. And for the most part right now, we've been able to do that. Yeah. The UNLV game, I think is a great example of there was adversity within the game and I'm sure you weren't sure how they were going to respond. And they responded obviously quite positively uh, before I let you go, Mark, what did you learn the most in that result? Well, I'll go back to our, our first game. We were behind at halftime, uh, and we've been behind at the half of both games. And, and what I've really, one of the things I've really talked with these kids a lot about is, listen, when adversity comes, you've got to stay the course. You've got to keep fighting forward. And, and, and you have to have a competitive endurance about you that gives you a chance to play through the entire 40 minutes. And I think what I learned is that, that they now actually believe that, and listen that if we just keep, you know, if we just keep playing the next play the right way, that at the end of the night you're going to give yourself a chance to be successful. Mark, I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, great to see you, Andy. Thank you.